Welcome to our Sticking with Chemistry series, celebrating Chemistry Week 2020. I'm Bethany Cheshire with the Outreach Division here at the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History. Let's get started. So to keep with our theme of sticking with chemistry glues and adhesives, we're going to use some adhesives to make art today. So we're going to use uh, contact paper, but other kinds of adhesives are things like tape, and glue dots and poster putty, things that are kind of sticky that you use to stick to things. Um, now we're going to use uh, contact paper, like I said, but you can use you can use scotch tape or you can use painter's tape because you can peel that right off your paper if you don't want tape on your paper. You're also going to need uh, some watercolor or other kinds of paints. Uh, watercolor is good for this because it dries really quickly, and we're using a really cool method by spraying it on there. You could also use painter, paint brushes and other kinds of things to use your uh, paint as well. Um, but you could also use things like acrylic paints and um, uh, any kind of paint you really want to use, washable paint, anything like that. You'll need a heavy paper. We're using watercolor paper, but you could use other very thick paper that will hold the watercolor. Um, so that's what we're going to use today. Now I have some cut out images um, for my picture. You can use cutout images or you can design anything, be very abstract with your tape or you can make an image with your tape. I would also suggest using a um, tablecloth or something to protect your table. So let's go ahead and get started with our project. So I'm just going to go ahead and peel my images um, and stick them on my lovely piece of watercolor paper here. I went with a fall theme. So I've got trees and leaves because I really like the fall. I'm very excited about it this year. I've got a few leaves here we're just going to take down. And you're just going to either, like I said, put your images if you have images on there or you, are, you can design uh, maybe a face or you can make like a dog or a person or really anything that you want to um, make a picture of. And then you can use a paintbrush for this part. You can use really anything that you want to use to apply your paint to your, your picture. But I've got some watercolor and spray bottles. And this is a really fun way of doing it, but it's very messy. So be prepared. I'm just going to move my whoop, paper out of the way here so I don't get it everywhere. And and now I'm going to spray my paint. So since it's fall, I'm going to use some yellow. Some yellow here, and some some red. So that'll make me some orange too. Orange is my favorite color, so I like to use orange in a lot of things. We got some purple here, why not? Purple's a fun color. Oop. Oops. We're just going to go ahead and use all our colors because it's fun to have a lot of colors. And then some green. All the fun colors here. All right. Now you can kind of see my images are already resistant. If I wanted to, I could peel off the tape, um, or I could just leave it as it is. So it's really up to you how you want to do it. Thank you so much for joining us for National Chemistry Week. We hope to see you at the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History.